I remember the first time I had heard of or even saw Lu Zhaojun. It was 2013, and I was on a typical weightlifting YouTube content binge, and I stumbled on the 2013 World Weightlifting Championships, wherein Lu broke the world record snatch and the world record total. But most importantly, it was the first time I was ever exposed to this. What the f*** did I just see, I told myself. If Klokov is the king of YouTube weightlifting fame, then Lou is the prince. Mainly because his lifts are insane, but partially because he's aesthetic. It helps grow your fame in this world when you look like you lift. I should probably work on this at some point, but for now I'll just keep living that natural, super heavy life. Because of guys like Liu and his team of Chinese assassins, we have the rise of the Anta wearing China fanboys who want to be squat jerkers. And while the Antas are a wonderful import, and the Chinese team makes me question my sexuality at times, odds are the squat jerk most likely isn't going to work out for you. Liu doesn't need to be maximally efficient to win. It's not about optimizing his clean and jerk, it's just about making a jerk. In fact, up until this lift by Nijat Rahimov at the Rio Olympics, Lou was unbeaten in major senior competitions when he made two jerks. Pair this with the fact that also being one of the greatest snatchers of all time, and you have a lifter that can pull off squat jerking. To me, it seems that the split probably never worked for him, and the bar height requirement in the power jerk just became too great with these weights. This, or he just learned this way as a child, and then went his whole career doing it. I think of it as the same situation when he was younger. He was excelling at such a higher rate than everyone else that it probably wasn't worth it to pull back and focus on changing his jerk technique when he could just beat everyone. I think if you want to squat jerk, you should ask yourself these questions. How long have you practiced the split jerk? How long have you practiced the power jerk? What percent of your clean can you clean and squat jerk? Can you afford to be missing out on kilos that you could potentially have if you were more efficient? If the answer to those questions were less than a year, less than 90%, and probably not, I would advise you to consider not squat jerking. According to Chinese weightlifting, technical mastery, and training, the Chinese system has upwards of 10,000 children that were handpicked to be further evaluated as they went through puberty. Then they select the very best to go on to 39 provincial training centers. There are others that are sent to 101 reserve training centers. The lifters you see like Lou that are squat jerking are so good that it's ridiculous to try to emulate it without understanding simple basics and most importantly, growing your training age. My suggestion is to just find a coach, listen to what he or she has to say, learn the fundamentals, find where you're weak, train for a couple mesocycles, compete, train for more mesocycles, switch to a power jerk if the split isn't working, switch to a squat jerk if that's not working, Whatever you do, just keep training, but try to be a good optimal lifter before a trendy aesthetic lifter.